Good evening and welcome to the April 1st, 2014 Lawrence City Commission meeting. The first item on the agenda is to uh, deliver the State of the City Address, so, so I'll start that now. When I first ran for City Commission in 2006, I did so wanting to help find solutions to areas I saw as challenges for the Lawrence community. Back then, one of the main issues was finding a suitable and more permanent location for the Lawrence Community Shelter. I'm proud to say a solution was found and LCS is now operating in a location where they can effectively carry out their mission and focus on programming that addresses needs related to housing, employment, education, and counseling. During the seven years I've served on the City Commission, I've witnessed numerous debates and discussions about community needs. Along with my fellow commissioners, I've worked hard to find solutions to these challenges. I'm proud to have served our city and I look forward to being a part of the future solutions that impact our residents' daily lives. Over the past year, the City Commission has worked to address numerous challenges. Less than a year ago, the City and the University of Kansas broke ground at Rock Chalk Park. Construction has steadily progressed since then, and this April we'll see the first event held on the grounds of the park, the Kansas Relays. The formation of Rock Chalk Park was a solution to several issues. Lawrence needed more space for recreational programming for residents, and we saw an opportunity to benefit from the traveling tournament circuit that thousands of our residents are involved in through youth sports. The University of Kansas needed to upgrade their facilities for soccer, track, and softball. The city's newest recreation center will open in September for expanded recreational programming, <coughs> wellness, and fitness opportunities. Multiple challenges were solved with the creation of Rock Chalk Park, and our growing partnership with the University of Kansas was further strengthened. Another example of a problem solved with the city's acquisition of the former farmland property on East K-10 Highway. The area had been abandoned by its previous owners, and the city recognized there was challenge, challenges in Lawrence for pro providing large-scale industrial zone lots, which appealed to businesses looking to expand or relocate. The city acquired the land in 2009, but the bulk of the infrastructure work, the roads, the detention ponds, the site grading, has occurred over the last year. We now have Lawrence Venture Park, ready and open for business in Lawrence. Every few years, the city conducts a citizen survey to find out what our community sees as a top priority. Consistently, our surveys rate east-west traffic congestion as the top issue. Now, thankfully, after many years of design and construction, the single biggest construction project to address this issue is underway the South Lawrence Trafficway. This $129.8 million project will dramatically change travel in Lawrence and Northeast Kansas as a whole. The state of Kansas sees this project as the number one priority in their current transportation program and is predicted to have the highest economic impact of all the expansion projects in the state. The city has been supportive of KDOT's efforts throughout the process, and we look forward to 2016 when this significant transportation challenge for our community is solved. Another top priority for our community for the past several years is street maintenance and how we are working to improve our road infrastructure. I'm proud to report our efforts are paying off and we're making progress on improving the existing pavement conditions, but there's still much work to do. We've also made a commitment to providing multimodal trans or infrastructure improvements with our planning process through the passage of our complete streets planning policy. It's inconvenient to travel a detour, slow down when you're in a hurry, but we have to keep in mind that we've got major projects underway and we're completing them in the most efficient manner possible. The reconstruction of Bob Billings Parkway, South Castle Street, and Iowa Street at 15th are all great examples of the work we're doing to make travel more convenient, safer, and more inclusive of alternate forms of transportation. Over the past few years, trash talk has been pretty common at City Hall. Not negative trash talk like the kind you lob at your brother-in-law before playing a game of basketball, but real substantive talk about our city's sanitation and recycling services. This discussion arose out of a sustainability challenge. The city wanted to ensure our residents had a way to recycle materials in a convenient and uniform method available to all. This fall, our vision becomes a reality as we roll out curbside recycling as a city service. Downtown development is incredibly important to Lawrence and our local business community. There have been many challenges in downtown this year, from land use to increased parking availability. This year, we've opened up a new garage at the 700 block of Vermont, which added an additional 324 parking spaces. The new garage opened in early August. Within a few weeks, the public was using it at capacity for events, programs, and downtown shopping trips. Additionally, in downtown, we're addressing the need for expanded library services and programs. 
the creation of more downtown living opportunities, the promotion of the arts and the cultural amenities, and working to balance the needs of a thriving downtown with the neighboring residents. As Lawrence continues to grow and develop, our job as city commission only becomes more difficult as we work to weigh competing interests and in financial ability and community needs. Our job as elected officials is to push forward these ideas, thoughts, and policies that suit our collective vision for Lawrence. The job is never done. Over the next year, we'll work to address significant issues, including whether or not our community should build a new police facility, update our comprehensive plan to address growth and expansion of Lawrence and Douglas County, and we'll work to enforce an expanded rental registration program with the goal of increasing the health and safety of renters and those who live in multi-unit housing. Each of, these projects, each of these projects is a work in progress. Once we cut a ribbon or launch a new program, our job is not done. It is our responsibility to the citizens of Lawrence to remain committed to providing excellent city services that enhance the quality of life of our community. As a commission, we've worked to build the infrastructure needed to take Lawrence to the next level in terms of economic development, opportunities, and now it's time to deliver. Lawrence Venture Park is ready for development. The second phase of the Bioscience and Technology Business Center at the University of Kansas is nearing completion. The South, the South Lawrence Trafficway is under construction. I look to our community leaders, our business community, and city staff to push forward and bring opportunities to Lawrence. We've committed the tax dollars needed to build these projects. Let's finish the job by growing existing businesses and bringing companies and jobs to Lawrence. Building our tax base will result in more jobs, more homes sold in Lawrence, and more investment in our community overall. I want to thank my family, my wife, Lee Beth, and my two daughters, Mackenzie and Kylie, for supporting me during my, my year as mayor. Balancing work and family is difficult, and the difficulty level increases when you take on responsibility of serving on Lawrence City Commission. My hope is the energy and time expended will help make Lawrence a better community for them and all the residents in the future. I also want to thank the citizens of Lawrence who honored me with the opportunity to serve on the City Commission. It's been a privilege to serve the amazing residents of Lawrence. Thanks go to Mike Amix for his many years of service to the community and for serving as Vice Mayor this past year. To Commissioner Shum, Farmer, and Reardon, I want to express my deep gratitude for serving the community this past year and bringing great energy and effort to the job of City Commissioner. It's been an honor to serve the citizens of Lawrence with you. And finally, I want to thank each and every one of the employees of the City of Lawrence. Their dedication to the city and the citizens of Lawrence is greatly appreciated. Without great people, our city would not be what it is and today, and the achievements previously outlined, impossible. Mayors and commissioners come and go, but the talented people who serve our community behind the scenes for many years are what makes Lawrence one of the best cities in America. Thank you very much.